to our sister companies all over the world. Do we still need a POA or written statement? And we consider them our buyers, even though we are part of the same legal entity. So this is an exporter asking if they still need a POA or written statement. I'm not sure if they're asking to their local freight forwarder or if they're asking in the destination country. Well, if it's uh, here at Origin, um, you know, no. If um, if you're having your uh, broker file the you know the AES, then you know they you, they need to as a as a forwarder or broker in order to file export clearance, we need one of uh, two things really. We need a power of attorney, we need a shipper's uh, letter of instruction, or we need those uh, you know written confirmation or written consent from the foreign principal party of interest. Uh, but if you're, you know, selling to your sister companies all around the world, and it's, uh, you know, again, it depends on the term that you're using, whether or not, you know, who's responsible for, you know, the export uh, clearance costs, if, I'm, if I, that's uh, part of the question. Yeah, 